guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a really exciting one. You guys know that I just recently built Blue's new enclosure as promised. I told you guys as soon as I got back off my vacation and I had a day I was gonna do it. Well, the day after we got back, we went on and we built this enclosure and it looks amazing. It is now completely built and completely done and I am so excited to move it in here in the pet room and put Blue inside of it. He's gonna have so much room to roam around and I know that he's gonna absolutely love it because it's really, really big. Blue's custom enclosure that we built is completely appropriately sized for a juvenile Harmon's tortoise. Blue is about five inches in length and of course tortoises grow really slowly so a five foot long by two and a half foot wide is completely appropriate for him so I'm really excited you guys know I've been keeping blue in a three by two zoom ed tortoise house but a three by two is not an appropriate size for a five inch juvenile tortoise that's more appropriate for a hatchling or maybe a two to three inch tortoise He's probably not full grown, so this may or may not be his permanent enclosure. It just depends on if he grows more as the years go. But with him still being so small, and he's only two and a half, this enclosure is gonna be perfect for him. I can't wait. If you guys did not see the video where I built this enclosure for Blue, I will have it linked for you down in the description down below. If you enjoy this DIY tortoise table setup, feel free to subscribe and also hit the notification bell. This size enclosure is also appropriate for other Mediterranean species because it is five feet long, so it is really, really big. I also want to mention that while this tortoise house is appropriate for blue at his size as a five inch juvenile at two and a half years old and it is also appropriate for other species of tortoises especially mediterranean tortoises like the hermans tortoises greeks tortoises and russian tortoises if you decide to build this tortoise table for yourself, you will need to modify the measurements to fit your tortoise's needs. You will need to account for your tortoise's size and move those measurements up as needed. If you have a full grown female Eastern Hermans tortoise and she is seven and a half or eight inches, you will need to accommodate by adding on the appropriate amount of feet for her size. Okay, I think that is everything that I wanted to cover. I am so excited to get Blue in here. I'm gonna try and film all of this for you. This room is in disarray right now. I've got stuff kind of moved all over because we are gonna be moving the Zoom Ed tortoise house out of this room. It won't be in here anymore since Blue won't need it. And we are gonna be putting his new tortoise table in this place along this wall. So I'm gonna be showing you guys. Okay, so here's what we're looking at so far. As you can see, I have this huge wall open and this is where his new tortoise table is gonna go. This is the tortoise house that Blue is currently in. It is a temporary Zoom Ed tortoise house. It measures in at three by two. And though Blue is living happily in here, he does deserve better. He does deserve something much bigger. This tortoise house was always going to be temporary. It was never meant for long term, obviously. I don't recommend this type of tortoise house for any species of tortoise long term or box turtle. Okay, so we are going to be taking Blue out of here and I think that we're going to put him in here to soak while we set up his new enclosure because I do have to break this down and take it out. So we are going to start doing that now. I hope you guys enjoy. So Blue's new tortoise table is actually going to be sitting on top of this old 40 gallon breeder stand. This is the old stand that used to be underneath Koa's 40 gallon breeder. If you guys remember whenever we were doing the build, which I have linked down below, we did put two braces so that it will be sitting sturdy on there and it won't go anywhere. Alright baby, come on. Let's have you a little soak. I know, it'll be warm, it feels so good. There you go. You're gonna be so happy. You're gonna be so happy, baby. And then there's Koa, being gross, eating his little worms. Yuck. It's finally in here in the pet room and it fits perfectly. I'm gonna show you guys obviously whenever it's all done, but now it is time to fill it up with everything he needs. So the first thing we're gonna put down is a moisture barrier. I like to use extra large trash bags and that just makes sure that none of the moisture gets into the wood and rocks it. It's perfectly safe, obviously. Watch your tortoise. If you see your tortoise tugging at it or pulling it or anything, um, then I guess be aware of that and I would take it out, but typically it's fine to use. It's just plastic and it's gonna be underneath the substrate so they won't even see it. Then we are gonna start adding all of our substrate. I have four bags of Eco Earth and one bag of topsoil that I'm gonna mix in there a little bit too, but the majority of it is going to be Eco Earth. Obviously, use the substrate that is best for your specific type of tortoise, but this is perfect for Harmon's tortoises and box turtles and things like that. Now I am going to be 
making this a few inches deep. However, unlike box turtles, a lot of Mediterranean tortoises really don't burrow down. They typically sleep on top of the substrate or they may dig down about a half inch. Typically not too much. I know that Blue does not dig down at all when he sleeps. He prefers to sleep on top of the substrate but I am still gonna give him a few inches deep just in case he wants to dig around, as well as it'll be deeper inside of his house just in case he wants to dig down at night. Bag number three. Bag number four. And I have a fifth bag, but I think four bags might be enough. We'll see. There's about three inches of substrate in here, if I had to guess. Maybe a little bit more in some spots. Oh, it looks so good, I'm so happy. So I put him a little hide here, even though he has this big hide here, so he'll have two different options if he wants to go in there and hide, he can. So I bought this little plastic faux terracotta planter. I find that terracotta kind of absorbs water, so his water bowl was going empty like every day. But he doesn't use it, which I know that because I've been watching him. So I got this little plastic one that doesn't have any holes. So we're going to put that in there as a water dish. And then I have his little cuttlefish, which he sometimes will nibble on, but majority of the time he just ignores it. But we're going to give him that anyway, just in case he wants to trim his beak. And then we have his feeding slate and his basking slate. He likes to lay on this and eat while he basks at the same time. So we're gonna put that pretty much underneath his light and that'll also help his nails to stay trim and all that good stuff. Okay, so it is finally done. Also, I wanna mention that periodically I will put water in here to make sure that particularly this hide stays really moist for him. Herbin's tortoises do need moisture in their enclosures. Anywhere between like 30 and 40% is usually pretty good, at least under one hide. So that helps their shell to grow smooth to prevent any pyramiding or anything, of course, along with a good diet. So this is finally done. We're gonna put him in. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited, Blue? You have so much room now. Here is what it looks like. Oh, it looks so good. I did go pick him some fresh greens. Give him some water, which he probably won't drink, but he might at least trek through it. Here is an overview of what it looks like. It looks so good. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. It's so big. It's literally big enough for me to lay in, so I know that he has plenty of room. Here's his hide. He'll go in to sleep at night. I did put this little porcelain cactus right here because I think that it's super cute. Over here we do have one giant vine which obviously like you guys know I said I'm going to be watching him to make sure that he does not nibble on this whatsoever. A lot of people have great success with fake plants in their tortoise enclosure. I do know that Blue is a sniffer. He usually puts his nose and sniffs everything before he takes a bite so I don't think it's going to be an issue but again we're going to keep a very close eye on him with this and by next video I should have an update on whether or not this vine will work out. But if it doesn't, that's okay. I can always take it out because I do have a cute little porcelain mushroom under here. That is gonna be his humid hide option if he wants to go in there and sleep. And then we have his little feeding slate slash basking slate. He can just lay underneath his light, which is gonna be right up top shining down. And that will be where he eats and he can trim his beak and his nails down on this. So that'll be really good for him. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, I didn't wanna cram it full of stuff, but I think that the decor that he does have is really cute and I think that he'll love it. Okay, Bubba, are you ready? Look, I got you some yummy food. Oh my goodness, yes, we're so hungry. Oh my goodness, he's so little in there, oh my gosh. So he has over four feet by two and a half feet of living space, and then he also has 10 inch by 30 inch of sleeping space, so I'm really, really pleased. I think it turned out so well. Is this such a nice house? Are you so happy? It's a lot bigger than your other one, huh? Yeah, bud. It's so beautiful in here. Here's what it looks like from far away. As you can see, it's huge and it is sitting on top of the old 40 gallon breeder stand. And then I do need to put his light up top. I have a bracket hanging that I'm gonna hang it on. Look how little he is. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. But yeah, that is the entire setup for Blue's new tortoise table. I absolutely love it and I know that he will too. He's checking out the plants. No nibbling though, that's good. I think he's smart enough to like decipher real food from fake plant, you know?
Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me set up Blue's new tortoise table. I absolutely love it. I think that it is beautiful. Also, don't forget that if you're interested in learning how I built this tortoise table, I did make an entire video and I will have it linked for you down below. Obviously remembering to please size it according to the tortoise species that you have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you do not already follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I'll put that on the screen for you. I love filming this video for you guys. I am so excited that this is finally done and I can rest easy knowing that Blue has a new huge enclosure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.